Well, hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on November 27th, 2022. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Looking here, the last 48 hours on our sun, looking at the last updated images, as we had nothing from the 24th, pretty much, until the 26th, starting to get images back now. And a little bit gl- a little bit glitchy and sped up, but uh, this is what we have right now to share with you. Incoming and Earth-facing sunspot region, and as well, a coronal hole to talk about. Cresting activity, looking at the incoming imagery, and as well, outgoing. We do have two sunspot regions taking off, and as well, a southern coronal hole. That is in an earth-facing position. We are already being affected by the coronal hole wind stream, sitting up at about KP4 for the last little bit. Having a look here, a multi-spectrum at the most notable events. Bottom right-hand side and as well earth-facing there above the coronal hole. That blackened region, regions are your coronal holes. Right now in an earth-facing position, Heads up, stay aware and prepared. Having a look at the solar X-ray flux as it remains in a low B range, very quiet sun the last 48 hours. No major solar flares to talk about, but the geomagnetic activity has been up and it is now at KP4. Looking at a real-time solar wind sitting at 480 kilometers per second. After being up over 614 kilometers per second in last night's update. Pretty streamlined right now. Looking at the ISWA Space Prediction Spiral, showing the most recent CMEs taking off from the sun. Most recent one was right at Mercury. On the back side of our sun. Schumann resonance for today is a power of 16. Healthy power. Slightly elevated, telemetry is a little bit all over the place. Quality of 7, power of 16, power of 13. And let's get to earthquakes here the past 24 hours. As it has been somewhat busy, larger earthquakes, especially all around the Pacific Rim of Fire. Looking at all this activity through the Nazca Plate, Easter Island region, seeing a 5.6 as well a 4.9 just north of that Easter Island region and a 4.7 southeast of Easter Island. 5.1 here, Pacific Antarctic Ridge, and as well, lots of activities, South America, and as well, deep earthquakes. Santa Cruz, Chile, 41 kilometer depth, 45 kilometer kilometer depth, 4.1. As well, Chile, Argentina border, 84 kilometer depth and a 4.1 there. 4.9 4.9 earthquake here, South Sandwich Islands. 5.0 earthquake here in Massachapa, Nicaragua, 52 kilometer depth. As well, the Caribbean plate seeing some activity today. Large 4.1 Punta Cana, Dominican Republic, rocking the eastern parts of Dominican Republic. Seismicity coming back to the region, especially through Puerto Rico. Quiet across the North American plate, no major earthquakes to report. Same with Hawaii, overlooking Alaska. Largest through the region was a 4.8 at Adak. And then we get to Russia and northern Japan, 5.4 ringing out there. 4.6 in Shuzanai, Japan, off the coast there, northern parts. And as well, Marianas Trench still activating there, 5.0 earthquake. 5.1 earthquake here, Philippines. 49 kilometer depth as well. Northern Philippines with the 4.3. Activity through eastern Indonesia. And no no deep earthquakes to talk about here. Through the Tonga region, normally we see at least one. And we haven't seen one in the last 24 hours. So waiting for a deep earthquake event to happen there. Minor activity through Java. As well, Kashgar, China with a 4.9. 4.4 here in Carpathos, 
Greece, and as well a 4.1 Western Turkey to report the last 24 hours across the world as things have been on an uptick recently, but quiet the last 24 hours. We're sitting at roughly just under 200 earthquakes, according to USGS around the world. This is a quick look at the last seven days for shakers across the planet. Largest earthquake this week was Solomon Islands. Notable earthquakes there in Greece, and as well notable earthquakes along the west coast of North America, right up into Tofino, British Columbia. Now let's get to the Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent satellite imagery from around the world, and as well the most recent volcanoes getting updated today. Pretty large system heading into parts of Europe this week. Watch for the forecast coming up, full details. Large low pressure system through center of the Atlantic. And as well, a pretty big Pacific low heading across eastern parts of North America. Getting here to the volcanoes, Popocatépetl in Mexico. Lots of flood alerts, 186 active hazards right now including snowstorm conditions across the prairies, Sangay and Ecuador, snow squalls in Calgary, Nevada de Ruiz, Colombia, Reventador in Ecuador, Fuego in Guatemala, Cotopaxi in Ecuador, Sabincaya in Peru, Villarica in Chile, Reported 12 hours ago, that's a newly awakened one as well, on the alert list. So we're probably sitting at about 49 active and erupting volcanoes across the planet. Last report was 48. Stay tuned for the next volcanic activity report and as well planetary positions. Snow squalls through parts of southern Alberta. Rain here in Ontario. Expected to continue overnight. Strong system heading over Kamchatka, leaving a nice blanket of snow across eastern Russia and Kamchatka, and as well northern parts of China. Snow and cold is moving in, as forecasted yesterday, parts of Siberia minus 46, and that's without the wind chill. Celsius, minus 46 Celsius. Flooding conditions there in Zimbabwe, as well the Congo. and windy and stormy conditions heading into the United Kingdom. Having a look at windy.com, showing forecast models for the wind for the next little bit, as we do have a pretty strong system developing for Ontario later in the week. Also for the Atlantic provinces, you can see that big system off the coast there. Watch for strong winds here. Looking at Wednesday into Thursday, sustained 30 kilometers, but over Lake Erie parts, 65 kilometers an hour as a new low moves through. Now let's get to the Pacific precipitation forecast for the next few days. As we do have that low tracking northeastward, will be affecting the Atlantic provinces. And as well, we've got a low moving through Manitoba and another low, actually two lows heading along the BC coastline this week set to bring heavy amounts of snowfall through the Rocky Mountain Pass and as well into Washington and Oregon. Stormy conditions will be developing here Wednesday into Thursday for southeastern parts of the United States as that cold front pushes through long line of moisture stretching through the Atlantic straight up to Greenland. That's right, equatorial warm moisture being funneled to Greenland. The other half of the world is going through a deep freeze. Having a look here, moisture systems for the next little bit. Nothing major to report across Europe. One system coming out of the Mediterranean and another one off the coast of Spain in the long range. Overlooking Southeast Asia, West Pacific. No major typhoons developing. Possible cyclone here developing 
for India in the long range. And then overlooking Australia, stormy conditions will persist for the next few days here, mostly northern parts. And then a, a low will be tracking along northeastern New, Th New South Wales, eastern uh, Australia. This has been your Daily Do Space Weather, Earthquake, Volcano, and Weather Forecast. Hope you enjoyed the video. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your Daily Do. We'll see you next video. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.